Hello friends, today we are going to see regular expression data annotation attribute in MVC Retrovisor. Regular expression are an efficient and terse means to enforce the shape and content of a string value. Using this attribute we can specify a regular expression and enforce a string value to adhere to the expression. If string value is not in accordance to the regular expression, validation message is shown. And the regular expression attribute is usually used to validate email formats. Now for any input string from the user, if you want to format or you want the user to enter something in a proper format then we could use this regular expression proper attribute and uh, let's see through application through code how we can use it now this is our email to use data annotation attributes we need to add reference to this file or to the model that is component mo component model or data annotation and we say regular expression and it accepts a pattern we have a pattern defined for email we say this is a pattern and we provide the pattern and this is basically our model and we have uh, editor for model we have used editor for model helper to create all the fields uh, for the properties inside the model and we have included it inside a form and on click of this button we are submitting the form to validate the form fields so let's run the application Now we have a form ready for us and let's give any first name, last name, city, email and password, confirm password. Now if you see we have uh, provided email and just a string format we have not included at the rate sign and dot com or something. And if we submit the form it says the field email must match the regular expression, the expression we specified. This is a basically the default message and it picks the field name that is email and it also picks the regular expression specified and it shows the error message on the screen so this is basically how we can use uh, the regular expression at the basic level and if you if you want you can also provide the error message we can say the error message as invalid format so it won't display the default message but it will display the message specified by us that is invalid format so again we fill the properties and I put a wrong format and I say it says invalid format so this way we can also specify our own message now if we want we can also pick this error message from resource files so for that we have error message resource type which accepts the type of we say the error message is of type multi multi is basically our uh, resource file name which is present in multi resource folder that is this this is the multi dot resx and we have also included the reference for this now and it also accepts the error message resource name which is the key that holds the name of the message I mean that holds the error message for now we say email format this is our key and close the bracket and we say so what we want to do is we want to create this key in the multi dot resx file we save this is our key and we say here 
not a proper format for email and we run the application so now we have a form and we fill the information and I again put invalid format for email and I click submit button it says not a proper format for email now this message is read from RESX file that is not a proper format for email so similarly we can display the error message in different languages by reading it through resource files and we can set uh, we can pick the error messages from other languages for other languages from other resource files by setting the current culture now this is with respect to email we have used the regular expression we can also use this regular expression for other things as well now if you see this is the last this is the last name property and we say regular expression regular expression and this property should accept only letters between a to z and we close the bracket and if it doesn't happen we are going to say that is strings only so now we are just restricting integer values being supplied to last name property so let's see how it works so here we just give the first name and we put integer values inside the last name and we submit the form so it says strings only only string values are allowed in this field you cannot enter any integer values so by this way we can use uh, regular expression to restrict values by providing the string or regular expression thank you friends